Professor, Wa alaikum aslam. Can you introduce yourself and tell us uh, what your role here at Akabi is, please? Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Muhammad Elias Ayub. By profession, I'm lecturer in English at uh, Government Postgraduate College, Mirpur. And uh, I'm principal and founder of uh, the only school serving for the visually impaired children of uh, AJK. So, my basically, uh, my role is uh, to organize all the things and uh, my chief role is of course administrative role which is I'm, uh, I'm playing here. Okay. Awesome. How, how do you manage your time between your uh, profession uh, and the school here? Well it is uh, a really hard task to manage both the things uh, but uh, in morning up to 12.30 I uh, remain in my college and after that uh, I come to the school. Mashallah. And uh, how many uh, students uh, are enrolled here? At the moment uh, over 100. Uh, to be very brief and precise, uh, 125 students are uh, receiving education from here. So, so tell us a little bit about this uh, wonderful new complex that you have here. Uh, well, actually uh, nearly six years, seven years ago, government uh, donated us uh, uh, a piece of land. It was uh, basically um, very rough uh, land, but uh, we developed here, uh, developed this uh, land, and uh, now a uh, couple of buildings uh, have uh, almost been completed. School is uh, fully completed, and the classes uh, are uh, functional uh, here. And uh, till now, we have uh, spent nearly. Uh, 3.5 million rupee, park rupees on this uh, valley project. In school, 30 classrooms and uh, uh, 30 classrooms which are functional, while uh, there will be 36 rooms in the hostel which is uh, uh, near to its completion. Mashallah. And uh, from Park Trust's perspective, uh, now we signed an MOU with you nearly three years ago. Um, so what has been the collaboration between Park Trust and yourself? Well, uh, we are really, really grateful to Park Trust. Park Trust is uh, one of our major donors and uh, till now uh, they have donated uh, 3 million Park Rupees, uh, which uh, I can say should be around 23 or 24,000 pounds. And uh, I think uh, this is really uh, a handsome contribution on their part and I am once again really grateful to them that uh, uh, they are uh, taking keen interest uh, in this very project. Sure. And uh, how have you utilized uh, that particular donation? From well, Park? basically we uh, nearly 2 million uh, were spent in construction purpose and 1 million uh, was spent on uh, purchasing of uh, furniture, food and uh, uh, then edu other educational uh, uh, material for the visually impaired children. Sure. So I assume there's plenty of work that still remains in completing this huge project. So tell us a little bit about the work that remains. Well, uh, a hostel can be completed within uh, three months. Uh, sure. uh, hostel is uh, uh, in now it's uh, in its uh, final phase, and after this, uh, we will start uh, a complete admin block. Then plenty of other things uh, which are in the pipeline, which includes uh, mosque and playground and workshop for adult visually impaired, then residential block, and plenty of plenty of. Uh, you know, work is still to be done. Sure. So, in terms of the uh, syllabus you use for teaching, can you tell us a little bit about that syllabus? Is, um, it, a, is it a purpose built syllabus or is it a national syllabus? No, it's a national syllabus which uh, we follow here in this uh, school because uh, this is the only school in the region and uh, we can't. Uh, 
uh, map out uh, our own syllabus. So uh, basically we follow the government syllabus, the national syllabus. Good. And uh, the very final question, do you have a message for our donors? First of all, I am really grateful to them who uh, contribute uh, to this uh, noble cause. cause. One thing uh, I want to uh, say, I want to assure them that each penny uh, donated by the worthy donors are utilized in a very professional and honest uh, way and uh, I hope that uh, they will uh, keep on donating for uh, this, uh, keep on donating generously for uh, this uh, noble cause. Sure. I uh, often, when I meet my donors, I often invite them without uh, your approval. I invite no, no, them. No, no, I, I uh, give them an open invitation when they're in Pakistan to come and visit you here, to see the premises, to be, meet the children. So, would you like to extend that invitation? Yes, of them? course, of course. I, I uh, invite them from the core of my heart that uh, whenever they come to Mirpur or even Pakistan, do come to my institution without a prior notice. Uh, it will be really, really great honor and uh, matter of pride for me if uh, uh, our donors uh, visit here and meet the children. Jazakallah Thank you very much.